Hi guys, welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. I'm here for another reading. Uh, what I'm going to do is the elements. So, right now we're doing air signs. Gemini, Lib Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Once again, please click and subscribe to my channel. I will be trying to, uh, I will be dropping more videos in days to come. Okay, so we're going to do air signs today. I'm just going to tap in, uh, just do a, a reading, a collection of energies. Uh, so let's get started. Hope you guys can see me. Okay. Okay, so this is for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides. Give me a reading for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Where's their current energies in at this time? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. All right. All right, here we go. Give me a five card spread, Holy Spirit, for air signs. All right. Bottom of the deck, seven of cups. Okay, this is our subconscious. Seven of Cups is basically confusion. Okay, it also talks about having a lot of options. If you see Betty Faye, she's so confused and frustrated. Okay, so some of you air signs, you guys are confused. You're in a confusion state. You get all these options. You don't know which option to choose. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we have the full card, which talks about taking a leap of faith, going on a fool's journey, right? As you can see, she's about to step off the thing. All right, and we got the seven of pentacles, waiting card, investing. Maybe you guys are waiting to take a leap of faith, you know, or maybe I want to invest in taking a trip somewhere. Okay, the three of cups talk about third party, okay, because cups equal emotion. It also talks about celebration, you know, um, some of you guys will be having some celebrations. Nine of swords, but you guys are having anxiety, okay, it talks about staying up all night, can't sleep, worrying, swords are thoughts, okay, it's all these mental things you're thinking about. Also could talk about mind games. Somebody playing mind games with you. Two of Swords is making a decision. And we did get the options at the bottom of the deck. So you guys are trying to make a decision on all these options. You got too many options, Air Sign. Okay? Or maybe you guys confused. Just confused. Because you're worried. You're having anxiety. Alright, so let's get into it. Let me see. What should I clarify? I'm going to use this deck. All right, air sign. So we definitely know you want to make some type of decision regarding some confusion or options that you're dealing with. Now, remember, this is a collective of energies. If you guys want to book something specific, go on to my website on Facebook, Deja Vu Tarot. I have the links below as well. Book a reading, $50 for one hour. Okay. So right now, this is a collection of energies. So let me get into it. So Holy Spirit, clarify the fool. Why don't you show me the fool card? Who wants, who feels like a fool? Could be too. Well, who wants to take a leap of faith? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. All right. Why 
lot of food cards here. All right. Let's see. All right. So to clarify the food card, we got the Princess of Cups, the Six of This, and the Nine of Cups. So this right here, Cups equals emotions. Princess of Cups could be an apology. Okay, maybe someone want to take a leap to come back to try to maybe balance things out because Six of Pentacles is like being balanced. Okay, um, you know, yeah, wishing, wishing to balance things out, wanting to apologize, want for being possibly a fool, want to take that leap to apologize and balance something out, possibly with this single woman right here. Okay. All right, so that is the fool. So somebody want to take a leap to apologize. Okay, it can also talk about money as well. Okay, because Six of Pentacles, like, paying in the original deck, he's paying someone and then it's another hand. So it's like paying a lot of people. But this one, I feel like it's balance. Just want to balance. Maybe they see you on a social media or somewhere where they're watching. Okay, maybe they know they were immature because Princess of Cups is an immature emotion as well. Okay, all right, then we got the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talks about investing in something, talks about being patient, waiting, okay, waiting on her seeds to grow, especially in this pinnacle, look like she's trying to pick it off the tree. Okay. Waiting on something. So, Holy Spirit, why don't you show us some of the pinnacles? Why is they waiting? Or do they want to invest? All right. Show me what I need to see with this. Show me what I need to see. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is the sun card. Yeah, I feel like they want to invest. They want to be happy. Maybe they're waiting on some, some type of investment to pop off to be happy. Yeah. Clarify the seven of pentacles. Why the seven of pentacles is here? Show me what I need to see. All right, so it is a lot of fighting where this person is at, okay? And then you got the snake. So I always say snakes is Carmitas. Okay. So maybe he's either fighting with himself, he or she. Just energy. Okay. So what I got from air signs, somebody wants to take a leap. Okay. They want to apologize for being a fool, possibly. Wants to balance things out. The seven of pentacles, they're waiting to make some type of decision. Because we got the two of swords here. Okay. They're waiting. They're trying to decide because we do got the options too. Maybe like what to say, what to do, who to say it to. I don't know. They're confused, okay? Yeah, definitely confused. All right? But they are also fighting. Could be fighting with these third parties. Because remember, I said the Three of Cups represents third parties as well. So I feel like these are the karmitas. Could be fighting with the karmics, you know. The extra girlfriends or whoever. All right. Possibly heartbroken. Okay. Got secrets. All right. Devil card. So that's a, definitely a Carmita. And you got the King of Cups. So right here. Yeah. This is what the Seven of Pentacles clarify. So to me, yeah. You're trying to wait or invest or you're trying to decide... You have someone that's fighting and blocking this whole situation here. Or you could be fighting your own self, all right? But if you look at this picture, it's somebody down here, but it's like snakes and everything. They're all fighting. So it's a lot of different people you're fighting with right now, having a lot of confrontation with, okay? You or this person, okay? Heart broke, third parties, brick stabbing you in your heart, Okay? secrets going on that you don't know okay behind your closed doors 
Okay, definitely doing some devil work. Black magic could be. Ooh, that devil card. Let me put that down. And then the king of cups. Holding back your feelings. Devil also talks about bad habits as well. Could be tied, bonded to. Look at all those skulls in the devil's card. That's a lot of entities, demonic stuff. Bondage, toxic bondage with feelings. Okay, so yeah, you, you know, yeah, spirits say you need to balance that out and heal first before you take any type of leap, leap of faith to apologize to anybody. You got to get strong, okay, because right now you're not in a condition. That's why you're waiting. You're not in a condition to even go nowhere, okay? I see you do want to take that leap, right, because we got the fool card. But you can't take no leap until, you know, I feel like spirit is blocking this too. Because you got the devil around. All right, so, yeah. you Or you invested in this devil. Okay. Yeah, because options, you're having all these options. Queen of Pentacles, possibly for money. Okay, these three, you got three, three, three. Another third party. Okay, so you you got a lot of third parties here, people from your past too. Okay, that's blocking you right now from doing any type of anything. What's this three of cups spirit? Why you look another three? So it's definitely third party involvement. Third party could be stopping you with this devil here. Clarify this devil spirit. Why is this devil card here? Yeah, you have some toxic bondage. Ooh, look. And the devil is pointing at the woman. See that? I said, why is this devil card here? And I seen the hand pointing at the woman. So it's a karmita. That's keeping you back right now. Clarify the devil. Yeah. We got the king of wands. That's sex. Keeping you bounded by sex. Yeah, the Prince of Wands in reverse. The Prince of Wands is already like a passionate person. You got all wands here. They're keeping you bonded by sex. This woman here. Okay. You need to get mentally move on from this. Six of Swords, you need to move away from this because she's keeping you there with sex. This is Wands. Wands is sex and passion. Okay. And then this was in reverse, so it's extra. So Spirit say you need to move forward. Okay. What's the Nine of Swords? Can I find the Nine of Swords? Ooh, Ten of Swords. So maybe somebody moved forward. Oh, the Emperor with the Devil. Mm. Three of Wands, Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? Okay, so this is what I got. Yeah, healing. All right, so maybe Six of Swords, you already moved on from this by healing, okay, from this devil, but it's upright. It's not released. So I feel like this is saying you need to move on. Maybe you're waiting to move forward, okay? Because the Nine of Swords, so I clarified the Nine of Swords, that gave me the Ten of Swords, which, ouch, a painful ending happened. And it gave me the Emperor. The Emperor actually fell over the devil. So to me, when it's falling over the devil, that means that's a narcissist. You ended it with some type of narcissistic person. And it was this woman. Because look, the devil pointing at her. The devil is pointing at her. Look. Okay, she got you bonded demonically, and she's a narcissist because that's it fell over that, and you ended it, or maybe you want to end it because the nine of swords is just thinking about it. Well, maybe you need to end it because this person it got you mentally crazy right now. Okay, that's what I see. 
this devil here. That's why spirit say move forward. You need to move forward. Stop holding. She's holding on to your feelings. So stop holding your feelings back, air signs. Okay, because you guys are waiting to communicate. Or maybe she's waiting to communicate or somebody waiting to communicate. Okay. But spirit say you need to heal this or wishing to heal. Once again, another wish in the balance. Okay, some type of commitment. All right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you want to take a leap. You're waiting, investing in something, but it's clearly the devil. So, you want to get away from it. And you're trying to make a decision because you're confused right now on who the person should be, maybe. Okay. Or maybe you're confused about this Queen of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn that's got you confused right now as well. Yeah, because we got the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. That's that's being left out in the cold, holding on, lack of finances, Four Sources healing. So we got two healing cards, okay? Spirit say you need to heal from this, or if you're healing from this, you're holding on to healing. Or holding back could be holding back your on healing which is causing you to have lack of finances too and feeling left out on in the cold okay all right and you're wanting you're waiting to communicate or you're waiting to move forward but you can't because you need to heal first okay so you will not be without finances okay two of swords what's the two of swords here what is he trying to, he or she trying to decide? I say it's a he because, once again, the devil was pointing at the woman. So I say it's, it's definitely a male here that's trying to, Libra, Air, Aquarius, or Gemini. Two of swords, spirit. Why is the two of swords here? Princess Wands and the Swords. Queen of this. We got the Queen of this again. Princess Wands. Give me another one. What's this Princess Wands? A priestess. The Swords. Yeah, so holding back has you... Or maybe this Princess of Wands here. Or maybe, I can read this two ways. You may be with a Carmita, is what I call them. Or possibly one in a previous relationship. Possibly with a High Priestess or someone that is in the spiritual realm that's an Aries, okay? They may have you in a mental mind prison. You're going round and round and round and round and round. Because again, we got this devil here. All right, you got a toxic soul tied to someone that's keeping you trapped. Or you are deciding to release this because the seven of swords is like lying and cheating, right? But it was in reverse. So maybe you're like, okay. Or you know that this high priestess knows about your lies and you being sexual or having princess of wands because it talks about a sexual thing too remember wands is sex so maybe you're trying to decide because you know this high priestess knows about your escapades and it's keeping your mind in a mental trap that's what i got or you could be afraid i'm trying to decide or someone is keeping you in some mental trap here because it's say confused or maybe you're trying to decide which which cup to take Okay, because you got so many options. All right, that's what I got here for the air signs. Yeah. All right, spirit. So, if that's the case, what is the advice that we can give our air signs? What is the advice? 
if they're trying to take a leap, but they're trapped or they're waiting to escape or whatever the case may be, someone is in anxiety. It could be the Carmita that's having anxiety as well because someone is moving on or already moved on. That's what I got. And... But we have the Seven of Cups. So if you're still in a confusion state, that means someone is confused. Possibly this Queen of Pentacles could be confused too. Okay, Spirit, what is the advice that we can give our air signs here for this situation? So what is the advice I was saying? Mm. The advice is communicate the team, move forward, right? Eight of Wands, but it jumped over the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So the advice it could be communicate that you want a commitment. Let's see. Yeah, because Princess of Swords is communication. So I would say the advice is communicate that you want the commitment. Or move forward with a commitment. But communicate it because as much as you're holding back, you're keeping yourself stuck by holding back. Okay? What's the princess of swords? Oh, no advice. Yeah, so this came out in reverse. But as you see, this is a match. Princess and prince of swords with the princess of this. So I feel like this is saying communicate that you let go of these people. Or because the prince of swords is immature too communication right so maybe this queen of this which we have it here too this capricorn this wife this could be a wife because again king and queen of this is the wife card so maybe you need to communicate that you let it go or let it go right because as you see this card is looking at them like boom okay so either cut them off, let them go, and have your Ten of Pentacles move forward or communicate that's what you want. Okay, stand up for what you believe in against these third parties. Okay, prove your love. Don't be afraid. Walk away. All right, that's what I got, air signs, okay? I hope this helps. That was your advice, all right? Peace.